Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of Big Bear Comics Presents. Um, this will be my silent auction uh, video preview show for the auction that's held Saturday, January 21st on the YouTube channel called The Great Legend Show. Um, it's also 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, myself and sellers like uh, Who Dad Comics and Collectibles and of course The Great Legend. Um, there may be a guest or two, who knows? So make sure you come and uh, enjoy the show and uh, pick, your up, pick yourself up a, a great deal on a comic book. First up is a um, Machine Man number 19. And you're asking yourself, Machine Man? This is actually a key issue. This is uh, the first appearance of a cool villain called the Jack O' Lantern. Oops. You can see the splash page there. And um, later becomes the cool Spider-Man villain called the Hobgoblin. So yeah, it's a very, um, I would say this is a 9.0 grade. It's got a few, a um, little bit of creasing on the head, on the spine, but there's no color breaks. So this is still a very nice copy. And it can be pressable, definitely, and you can definitely get higher in the nines with it. So yeah, Machine Man, 19. see the gloss still on it very nice copy and that'll be up for auction on the show okay um, here is a key a bigger key this is Tales of the Teen Titans number 44 and we're talking a solid 9.2 grade on this there are, I believe, one or two very, very tiny spine ticks. They're like barely noticeable. Um, and there is a very, very, there's not even a color breaking crease. They're just, I don't know, they're just like a little, there is a like a thumb crease right here, but it's un, not color breaking. Definitely pressable to get out. So I would say you could press this and maybe get a 9.4 out of it um, because of the one or two tiny tiny spine ticks it's not going to get you a 9.8 but this is just a beauty this is a very very high grade book and um, you probably can't even see the ticks because they're so tiny uh, this is going to be on the auction I, this is the um, first Nightwing and the origin of Deathstroke uh, so it's a key book and I know Trinity is Trinity Comics is looking for this book. So Trinity, come to the auction, open your wallet, start bidding, you might get it. <laughs> okay. All right. <clears throat> now I got a three pack. And this is the three pack of horror comics. Yep, by Marvel. And you're going to get this set for one price. And they're all number one issues. We'll start with The Chamber of Chills. Love that title. Chamber of Chills, number one by Marvel. And this grade is a 7.0, so you're getting a mid to high grade book. Definitely there are spine ticks on this spine. There is quite a few. But uh, after that, the book is great. There's no corner creases. Presents well, high gloss. Um, so I gave it a nice solid 7.0 on that. Along with that book, you're going to get Dead of Night number one, which is a 7.5 graded book, a little higher. And this is Dead of Night number one. Another Marvel horror title. Um, there's a couple of uh, few tiny spine ticks on there, and there is a faint corner crease. If I can point out the right one, I will. Uh, right here, there is a 
corner crease that barely breaks color. I mean barely, it's very faint. Um, still a very nice book and I've got that at a 7.5 because the crease is really small and barely breaks color. Uh, oh, we got third and final one on that set is going to be The Vault of Evil, number one. There it is. The Vault of Evil, number one. This book uh, is a 6.0. This one does have a color breaking crease. Um, this one right here definitely breaks color. You can maybe see it. Uh, but the spine looks pretty good. There are a few ticks. But the book again still presents really well. And I gave that a 6.0 for that copy. So what you're going to get is all three of those books for one price, um, one low price. So uh, if you're looking for those number one issues to start your run on uh, Marvel Horrors, this is a good start. Okay, um, next is a, a nice 8.0 that has some light edge wear. This is Black Lightning number one. Now... Black Lightning is going to be on Fox. He's going to have a television show. So, um, yeah, this is the origin and first appearance all in one. One shot, one book. This is his series, first number one of the series. This is Black Lightning number one. Right there, that character is going to have his own television show on Fox. So this book has been creeping and creeping and, pre and getting higher and higher and higher. And this is a, a nice solid 8.0 copy. And get this book early while you can afford it. Yep. Um, next is going to be a set of two. So if you're looking for some early Suicide Squad stuff, I have it here for you. I got uh, Legends number three and Suicide Squad number one. This is a beautiful. We'll start with uh, this one. This is a beautiful 9-2 copy of Legends number 3. So that's high grade. And then you also get a nice high grade 9.0. This one has some light edge wear on that. But uh, the spine is clean. Black is black on that. And that's a nice high grade book also. So you get both of those. One price. Uh, also, a new uh, book that's creeping and creeping, I think, it would be this is a near mid 9496 copy. It doesn't get any nicer than this. Amazing Spider Man 241. This one looked like it just came off the presses. There is not a tick, there's not a crease, high gloss. No surface wear. This is beauty. This is absolutely beauty. And I wouldn't be surprised if this graded 9.6 to 9.8, if you had it graded. Uh, this is the origin of the Vulture. Now, the Vulture, of course, a lot of people know this, is going to be the new villain on the upcoming Spider-Man movie. Um, it took them, um, I don't know how many years, like 20 years later, to come up with an origin from a character that made his first appearances in the early Silver Age. So, but yeah, this is his actual origin, and then it's not retold. This is his origin. So it's a key issue. And this is a beautiful copy. I mean, it don't get better than that. I mean, this is so nice. And Big Bear won't steer you wrong. When he tells you this is a nice copy, this is a nice copy. Okay, then a non-key, just a regular collectible Avenger book. Uh, we have Avengers number 74. And this is a solid 8.0 copy. It does have the Black Panther on the cover, 
Um, you got Vision on the cover, and it it's got some battle. It's got a it's a battle cover. Looks like there. Nice cover. I mean, it's pretty cool. Death is the Hunter is the title on that, and it's an early Avenger number seventy four, and it's an eight point oh. It on the back cover is the only flaws. There's a couple of nicks. They're, they don't not really tears. They're just like nicks on the back cover edge. That's the only thing that I could see that really is a flaw to the book. This is a it's a nice copy, and I uh, put an 8.0 grade on it. So uh, if you're you're an Avenger fan, you're trying to get the run, maybe you're missing 74. If you are, come to me. I got it. 74, nice high grade. Okay. Yeehaw! We're getting to the Western times of Marvel. <laughs> I. I don't know, Marvel, I mean, um, Westerns in themselves, comic books, they don't get a lot of love. Because, I don't know, because in the 50s, the kids were reading Western books. And that's the only kind of stories that, they wanted to be a cowboy in the 50s. They, you know, they liked all the, uh, I can't even think of any of the cowboy guys. Uh, well, I have... Two Gun Kid from Marvel was a good one. Um, Rawhide Kid was another. Uh, you had all those television uh, cowboys like Gunsmoke and uh, Cheyenne Kid or uh, um, Maverick was another cool one. Anyway, all in Bonanza, all those um, shows had comic books from them. And, and they were a good seller back in the day. But now, you know, you can buy buy these books near mid for even like ten bucks or whatever. There's nobody, nobody gives them any love. For older guys like myself, we grew up, and I used to have mostly the television shows were westerns and stuff, and so I appreciate them. Uh, here's Ringo Kid number one from Marvel. All right, it's not. It's from 1969. Uh, Westerns were still prominent at that time. They were still selling. And uh, here is a nice, um, solid 8.0 to 8.5 copy of the Ringo Kid from Marvel. So um, he's Ringo Kid, the fastest gun alive. That can be debatable, but he says he is. All right. <laughs> Ringo Kid, number one. So that book. It's going to be a low price. Uh, maybe somebody will want it. Sorry I started just talking about Westerns. Uh, you know, I was trying to give them more love. All right. Um, let's see. I got a set of comics that are variant covers. Uh, they're Archie versus Predator. I was just sur surfing the internet, uh, searching eBay. I don't know, it was um, back in February or March of last year. And this book came out, issue number one. And I just absolutely had to have this book. Um, it was Archie versus Predator. And I have all four issues, but I have all four issues as a variant cover. This one is absolutely my favorite. This is an Eric Powell variant. Um, as you can see, Predator has Jughead's head on, you know, he's carrying it. He sliced it off and he's just holding it up to everybody to see. Now, when I saw that, I said, oh man, I have to have that. Jughead with his head chopped off. That's just awesome. Totally awesome. And, um, these are all nine. I have the whole set. They're all variants. Uh, here's the Archie vs. Predator number two. As you can see, uh, I think Veronica has a baseball bat and is going to fight for Archie. He says, she says, back off, Archie is mine. And she goes ahead and hopefully beats the crap out of Predator with her baseball bat. Unlikely. But you gotta give her, you know, props for the try. <laughs> and Archie versus Predator 
number three. And here's Predator. This is another variant. This is the Paul Pope variant. Um, the one I just sold, showed you was uh, a Hack, Robert Hack variant. This is a Paul Pope variant of the series. And this is issue number three. We have Predator on a motorbike. Cool cover. And finally we have issue number four. And this is a Quinone variant. Now people don't really get this variant until they, if they ever seen the original movie. As you can see that uh, I believe that's Betty covered in mud so she would be invisible. And the joke on the cover is, I can't believe he took Veronica over me. It's like I'm invisible. Because she is. She's covered in mud. And as you remember the movie, Predator can't see the person who's covered in mud. So, yeah, you have to really look at the cover to kind of get it. As you see Predator walking around with Veronica and her bed is back. And Archie's flat out. Anyway... Yeah, I just love all those variants, and I picked, uh, none of these are the regular cover, they're all variants. And I'm going to sell the whole set for one low price, so uh, hope you stay tuned for that. And for my uh, comic, uh, my cartoon segment of the auction, it's not going to be a comic book. I, um, I have a cool record here. <laughs> It's uh, not opened. It's unsealed. Still has the shine. Still has the original wrapping. It's uh, Walt Disney. The greatest hits of Walt Disney. Uh, it includes cutouts and song lyrics. So there's like little Walt Disney character cutouts inside this. Never cut out. Never opened. Um, so that makes it uh, more valuable. Of course it has songs like The Bare Necessities. Like me. I sing that song almost every day. Um, <laughs> and uh, let's see. Whistle, stop. Whistle while you work. Hi-ho. The age of not believing. When I see an elephant fly, you can fly. I've got no strings. Blah, 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 blah. But it's got like all the big hits of all the Disney movies. Um, and great artwork. This is unopened record. And that'll be on the auction. As you can see, my lamp shining right on it. <laughs> Last but not least, uh, I'm going to quickly show I have this 9-8 uh, still of New Mutants 100. And of course, this is the um, first appearance of X-Force. And uh, it's the last issue of the series. And uh, X-Force is probably going to have... A lot of movie implications coming up. So this book still is going to rise up. And this is a 9-8. So, you know, you can't really get higher than that. Um, so, uh, once again, I'll come to the auction. It's Saturday night, the 21st of January, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. On the YouTube channel called The Great Legend Show. And I hope to see you there. And for now, this is Big Bear signing out.